Hey, hello, this is uh, Darren Cannell. I am broadcasting the Tato Live broadcast for Monday, March the 26th. I have a couple of different things I need to talk about today. The, uh, the first one is the fact that we are going to begin our virtual summer school. Um, it is an actual school that is starting up. It's a new school for the Saskatoon Catholic School Division. It will be starting in July. Students will be able to start registering probably hopefully as early as tomorrow. We will do our virtual announcement of this of the new school at that time and I'm hoping to be able to draw from the teachers that we have currently in the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School in order to teach that summer school courses. One of the things that have been clarified is, uh, oh well, a whole pile of stuff's been clarified in the last week about this uh, school. What we're going to try to do at our first launch is we're going to offer every single course that we have on our list and all of those courses that we have on the list we are going to allow students to register for and then come the June, the last day of June, we will make a decision as to which courses we will offer. The decision has been made that we will offer courses based on 20 students registered. And sorry, I didn't use the right terms there. The way we'll do this is we'll offer sections based on 20 students registered. So if we in the summer only have 20 people registered, we will offer one section, which means I will need one teacher to teach 20 students. Now, in that section, there may be math classes, English classes, science classes, uh, French classes, and whatever else is has, students have registered for. What I'm hoping and what we're going to try to achieve is to get as many people registered as we possibly can which will then allow us to concentrate our teachers based on the teaching subject which means we could have one math teacher teaching four or five different math classes if we are overwhelmed and we have a phenomenal response then it may be possible that students t I mean teachers teach individual courses but I'm not too sure if that's going to happen. It depends on how good our advertising works and how many people we actually have interested in the uh, in the virtual cyber, the virtual summer school. But the the goal is that we offer as many courses as we possibly can the first time through. The vision in the long run is that we would be able to offer summer school as a blend for the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School. Now that may never happen. We may ne we may have the virtual summer school as its own entity for the next 10 years, and there's no problem with that. It is its own school. It has no connection at all to the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School. What will end up happening is if the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School goes year-round, that in turn will cancel out the virtual summer school but at the moment the virtual summer school is its own entity and is totally separate from the Saskatoon Catholic. Um, the summer school classes will be offered from the first day of July to the last day of August. There will be no extensions given to any students who register at that time excuse me, at, during the summer. They have to register separate. There will be no connection at all to the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School. To clarify that, that means no students from the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School will be able to continue on their courses in the summer. The cost per course has been set at $400 a student. A uh, course, excuse me. A student is welcome to take more than one course. Unlike the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School, in the summer school you can take four or five courses, as many courses as you wish to take, just as long as you're willing to put the time in. We will charge you $400. You cannot gain access to the course until you paid the $400. You will be put, will be asked to pay via PayPal, and uh, and when the payment is put into the bank, then we will register you at that time. payment for teachers. What they've decided to pay the teachers is for the 60 days in which, well actually 62 days in which the cyber school is open, you will be paid 17 full days based on your grid. 
which means you'll be paid full days, 17 days, in order to pay for the job that you'll do in the summer. Teachers, again, will be chosen based on the needs of the students based on the registrations that come in. I understand how scary this is for teachers because you'll be teaching more than just your own course, you'll be teaching a whole variety of courses, but the, uh, the jack of all trades is the type of teacher that we're going to need in order to make the virtual summer school work. So if you are an English science math teacher, you're the type of person I'm looking for. In the next couple of days what I'm going to do is I will post a Google um, basically a Google site which you can fill out a survey and tell me which subjects you're comfortable teaching and then uh, I will select the teachers based on that. You will be asked closer to the end of June if you're interested in participating in the summer school as a teacher. If you have actually filled out the Google form at that time I'll go down the list and if I have a class that I think you fit or you're the closest person to fitting to the classes that will be offered in that section, then I will ask you directly if you're interested in teaching it. If you say yes, then uh, you'll be, end up teaching that and you'll end up being paid 17 days in the summer to teach the, su the summer school. There is no connection at all to whether you teach summer school, whether you continue on in the in the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School. There's no connection at all. They're two totally different schools. They're based on two totally different set of rules. The classes will work as a cohort, which means they will start on July the 1st and you will have a group of students all together at that time. We will be using the calendars that come in Moodle. We will not be using the 150 day calendars. The courses will be made as hybrids and the students will be put in for the virtual summer school. Uh, so there, there won't be the same courses that you are currently using to teach in the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School. So, we are teaching, Karina is asking, are we teaching WA20? Um, that's the work placement course, which was being written by, is it, is it already written? Mrs. Lovegrove. Um, if uh, she has said that she was willing to offer it, then yes, we will offer it. If she said she wasn't, uh, then it won't be on the list. The list will all come out anyways. You'll see it. It'll come out on the uh, on the summer school site. If you're looking for the summer school site, just go to the cyber school site and uh, throw on summer at the end of it and then you can see the course list right on there of what we're offering at this point in time. Uh, we're upgrading that if there's any on there that you don't uh, think should be on there or hasn't been finished developer developed or whatever then feel free to get in touch with me. But That's what's going to end up happening I think. Now um, the other thing that I want to talk about a little bit about is helping students create a positive digital footprint. There's two different articles uh, that I talked about on Facebook. One of the things that uh, has come up in the last little while in different places around the world is teachers allowing students to be their Facebook friends and what issues that cause and whether it's something you need to be concerned about. There is, if you go to our um, the STA site, there is a cyber tips there from the Canadian Federation of Teachers and uh, there is uh, some interesting material there and they talk about your conduct on the internet and whether or not you are you should have two different Facebook's account one that is professional one that is not um, and who you share it out to and whether or not you have um, images posted of you doing activities that may not be appropriate for school such as drinking beer and being out at parties and dancing and those type of things so um, that's basically a concern obviously there has been people who have lost their job over activities um, expect to be a target of cyber bullying is another one that comes up and it's a concern for uh, teachers as well uh, for those of us that have been working on the internet for a long time the cyber bullying is something that is definitely present and does happen all the time and um, 
students obviously if you put yourself uh, out there on the World Wide Web you are going to be um, you're going to be cyber bullied that's just a fact of the matter and so you need to have some coping skills on how to deal with that and it is a concern There is a couple of questions that have come across as I'm sitting here and starting on the digital footprint, and I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, Tony Antonopoulos, I think that's Tony. Yeah, Tony says, would it be possible to split the classes among different teachers? The, the, obviously, the best scenario for me is to try to get it as close as you possibly can to... to having the teachers who develop the courses actually teaching them in the in the virtual summer school. If I can do that, it's going to be better off in the end. Tony asked the question, could we split the 17 days? I think that's what he's asking amongst different teachers. So if we had uh, four classes being taught, two of them are science and two of them are English, would Tony be able to match up with an English teacher and then co-teach those two classes? Yeah, that's all all possibilities we're, we're certainly open to any of that stuff the fact of the matter is, is that you're teaching um, the whole class in 62 days so the students have 62 days to go through 100 hours of material uh, you're gonna end up doing a fair amount of marking it's gonna be a fair amount of work and that's one of the reasons why they've they've put it at us uh, about seven thousand dollars I think the average is for um, pay so when they're trying to work out the scenario as to how much the summer school will cost, a uh, teacher will probably make about $7,000 in order to teach summer school. If possible, would could we split it so that each one of them got, let's say it's $7,000, each one of them got $3,500 or got uh, eight and a half days of teaching because it's 17 days. So could you be paid eight and a half full days in order to teach a course and then have less students to teach in the summer? Yeah, there's all sorts of those things that we can work out as we get closer to that date. And so I would, if uh, if there was two science classes and an English class, and T Tony, you were interested in splitting the class uh, with someone else and only be paid eight days, so $3,500 to teach a class and, and then match up with an English teacher who's willing to take less pay to do it then yes there's no problems with that at all the nice thing about this is what what they were trying to do is try to make sure that we don't abuse the teachers when it comes down to uh, working in the summer we wanted to make sure it was on the grid and it's based on the person's experience and the person's uh, level or step in their their career and so it was important that it was teachers were paid for the work that they were going to do and they're trying to standardize that for any activity or any teaching activity that happens in the summer and so by respecting the teacher that was why we ended up with the 17 days I don't have any problems at all with different scenarios and I like the idea Tony and so we will probably come down to that that'll be more of a June type thing as we see the registrations coming in my hope and dream would be that uh, we don't have any issues at all we just end up with almost full slates of classes because there's so many students that have registered for the different things so that I could actually hire a science teacher who's willing to do the science students and then an English teacher and then a math teacher and then a, a fine arts teacher or something along that lines and so if we can have four teachers in there teaching the subject areas that they're trained in order to teach in that's a much better uh, teaching experience however all of us realize that the online teaching now has been a little bit more of a facilitation rather than an actual teaching role and so I think that's uh, more important but thank you for the question Tony I like it Facebook there's a few different t tools out there that I I think are very powerful Facebook is one um, I think it's amazing to be able to connect with the, the students that I used to teach who are now adults I don't see any issue at all with connecting with students um, if there's students who if you have an issue with what you're doing on Facebook or what you do in your life that you don't want to mix that and have it blended into to what happens um, or what students can see I unfortunately am very boring I don't do anything that I would be ashamed of so I have no problems at all with my Facebook being out there for everybody else Wally Depker 
our course is set up for 150 hours. Will the course have to be redone for 100 hours at summer school? Uh, Wally, our courses are actually not set up for um, 150 hours. They're set up for 100 hours um, because that's what the curriculum asks us to do. And so the fact of the matter is, is that uh, when we set up the courses, we give the students 150 days which means if they go on for an hour a day, they can, they can put in 150 hours to achieve their credit. But the actual course material based on what the Saskatchewan curriculum is set up on is 100 hours. And so you don't have to redo anything in our courses. Our courses are set up to effectively be taught. Um, we are going to offer the whole curriculum, which is one of the strengths of the virtual summer school in comparison to most other summer schools that tend to water their courses down to 60 hours. Uh, we are going to teach the whole course exactly the way it's written, uh, 100 hours. Then there is some uh, homework obviously built into that, but based on the skill of the students, the students should still be able to complete the course without any problems at all, basically putting in two hours a day um, for the 62 days, they should have no problems at all completing the, the summer school classes, but I understand what you're asking. We will not do any adaptations of our courses at all from, from the Saskatchewan curriculum. We will follow the Saskatchewan curriculum right down to the T like we have in the past, so it can be, uh, all the questions can be answered as far as that goes. Okay, I'm flipping back and forth here as the questions come in. I've continued to ask the questions. I don't have any problems at all answering those. And I'll go back now to uh, to Facebook. The, uh, the Facebook, if you lead a boring life like I do and you have no problems with any of your images or anything that you do in your life being seen online, then I see no issues at all with having students in there. I think it's just another method of you connecting with students and being able to see what their lives are like. The, uh, the interesting thing, and the most of the students that I connect with, obviously, because I've been out of the classroom for a little while, are students, my ex-students, that have graduated and gone on and have their own families and are leading their adult lives. Um, those are the students that I follow more than an active student. I think there there is a question mark as to whether or not you should follow a student who is actually in your class. However, it is possible to have more than one Facebook account, and having more more than one Facebook account is a great way to carry on a uh, conversation of what happens in your classroom outside of the classroom by having a class Facebook account. So that's a, an interesting method of doing that, but I've gone to a commercial here. I wonder if that's because we lost connection or what happened there, but... I noticed on the Ustream it's gone to uh, to an ad, so maybe it just lost connection. But if anybody has anything else they would like to add, I'm uh, certainly here to answer any questions. And getting back to the fine points of the summer school, that here's here's what's going to happen: courses will be $400. Registration will probably open tomorrow. It's the virtual summer virtual summer school. It w is not connected at all to the to the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School. We will offer all of our courses. Teachers will be paid approximately, well, will be paid 17 days for their summer school um, involvement. Teachers will be chosen based on which courses are registered. So whichever courses the students choose to take, we will then choose the teachers best, best suited to uh, to facilitate those courses and um, that will be something that uh, we will continue to do at the Saskatoon, not the Saskatoon, it's the Virtual Summer School. It's a very interesting initiative, it's something that we've tried to do for many years and I'm very excited with our administration allowing us to go forward with it this summer. Um, some people are asking whether or not that means it will grow into a year-round summer school a year-round uh, virtual school. Um, if we decide that the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School is going to go year-round, that will effectively put an end to the virtual summer school. But until that happens, the virtual summer school is a totally separate school from the uh, Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School. So anyone who's registered in the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School, um, if they wish to participate in the virtual summer school, will have to register again and register for the summer school in order for them to become active in that area. 
the cost for the students in our division is exactly the same as the cost for the students who are not in our division. And that is 20 minutes of me talking, you guys. I know I didn't get into a lot about Facebook and a lot about uh, a positive digital footprint for students, but the main reason for announcing this course was uh, this uh, show was to talk about the uh, v VSS, the Virtual Summer School. Check out the website. It's at http www.scs.sk.ca backslash summer. Registrations will probably start tomorrow. That, my fellow human beings, is my end of my broadcast and says, unless something pops up real early. Oh, Tony threw one in just at the very end. How about starting a virtual summer school early to allow adult students to take courses? We, uh, we have talked about that. There is a, uh, a virtual adult school that we are working on and that may come down the pipes in the next uh, few months. But at the moment, uh, if the adults want to take courses, they will have to take it um, in those two months. We don't want to run it in conjunction with it because it's a totally different target group. So, Questions from an ED fee and students from GSCS will be charged $400. Yep, summer school is a pay, pay to play type event and you will be end up being charged $400 whether you are in our division or out of our division. It is a straight fee for service you have to pay through PayPal. PayPal accepts everything from money transfers, credit card, whatever you would like to do, it's all on there and it's the best way for us to keep track of how it's being paid. Students uh, won't have any problems uh, navigating that um, that method of paying for the courses. You will not gain access to the courses unless you are paid first. There will be a schedule drawn up on how you can get your money back um, and we will probably follow the same scenario, but that will be written up in the next couple of months is if you start the summer school and you're, something happens and you can't continue on, we will have a withdrawal procedure and what's a proper way to do it, but it's still fee to play. That's the way this virtual summer school will work. Any other questions, you guys? I'm going to try to sign on again. I will still I'll probably be able to answer any other questions that come across. The, uh, the feed, but other than that, I'm signing off again. So here comes a big thumb. Thanks again for checking out the Tato Show, and I will be here to answer questions for the next little while, and I'll post this for anybody who couldn't get off in the, at lunch hour to come talk to me. So 